usual week, the business as usual. But around here, the usual's pretty the unusual. If you see what I mean. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm about to make an important announcement, basically. Right, listen everyone. Food Street share prices are falling, so we need to come up with a new business initiative double quick. Something dramatic that we can flood the market with. Any ideas? How about Back to Basics Handbook? For confused teachers? No. Why not? Because Back to Basics teachers never read anything, so we'd be wasting our time. How about moving into the record industry? We could make national curriculum maps and things. Possibly, but you'd have to do a lot of market research first. Anything else? You remember when we cycled Miss Chutney's brain? Yes, what about it? Why don't we set that up as a business? Like when film stars get their money changed. We could do the same, only for personality. It's a bit dodgy, isn't it? I mean, we don't even work on everybody. And it was Dobbs who did it. Now that he's left, we don't even know what to do. He left me the handbook. I'm sure we can do it. We'd have to test it first. Good point. We need a guinea pig. The management will give that some serious thought. But for the moment, to work. Joe, chase the first standing desk. We're getting sloppy. Linda, close that next to Ooh, yeah. Advantages of being treasurer. 
Okay, let's hear about Cramp. Oh, yeah. We thought Cramp should be our guinea pig for the personality recycling. Yeah, it's Cramp, of course. I mean, no one in mind if he lost the personality he's got now. Except him, of course. One small problem. What's that? We can't take Cramp into the recycling plant. He did what we were up to in there. True. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea. No, hang on. There might be a way of getting me in there without seeing anything. How? Well, there aren't any windows in the recycling plant. And if you turn all the lights off, it's really dark. Yes. So we go to Cramp, we tell him the lights are fused, and can he come fix it? Simple. It might work. But how do we actually get him into the machine? Well, he might slip. Accidents do happen, don't they? So you want me to do more paintings, Joe? That's right, sir. As soon as you can. Uh, what will we do with them all? We'll distribute them for a good cause. Excellent. So, what would you like to paint, sir? Well, I'd rather like to paint another portrait. Great. A portrait of who? Who, oh, someone with natural dignity, regal bearing and strong character. Can you think of anyone like that, Joe? Not in this school, sir. Oh, well, uh, I'm sure a subject will present itself. In fact, I'll go for a stroll and see if anyone catches my artist's eye. Yes, you do that, sir. What you doing here, boy? No one's allowed in here. I'm uh, sorry to disturb you, Mr. Cramp, but we need your help. Oh, do you now? Yeah, all the lights are fused in the technical block. Well, it's probably one of you miserable lot knocking about with them. No, they just went. And we need to work in there on our printing project. Mm. Mr. Jenkins says you're the only man for the job. He said that, did he? His very words. Well, are you? They're doing this as a favor to Mr. Jenkins. Not for the like for you, Lord of Labour. Where am I? You, you mean? 
on a technical block. He fixed the lights. Did you know? I think you had some sort of minor shock. Right. So why don't I go back to your room and have a nice cup of tea, Dan? I'm going to ask to do it. I want no tea. I will make it for you. I make my own tea. Do all those snotty children put in their grubby hands on my catch me. He doesn't seem much different. If anything, he seems worse. Not one of our greatest successes. No. Splendid, my dear chap. This really is going to be a masterpiece. I go so far as to say a head masterpiece. <laughs> ah, Joe, Mr. Prince has kindly agreed to pose for me. I'm trying to capture his innate authority and that wonderful Roman profile. The aquiline nose, the classical jaw, the kind of visage that won empires in antiquity. Excellent. Perhaps you could let me know when you finish, sir. Yes, I will do it. Is there any rush? Oh, no, no. As long as it's finished by, say, three o'clock. Well, as soon as that. I think so, sir. Well, well, I'll do my best, Joe, but this is art, you know. I mean, genius moves at its own pace. Was Rome built before three o'clock? Just do your best, then, sir. Yes, I will, Joe. I will. Could we uh, repose, Mr. Mr. Crowley, what on earth are you doing? Vent in my spleen, Mrs. Finnett. Vent in my spleen. And the spleen of Guy Crump takes out a vent in. I don't mind telling you. Oh, well, you'd better get on with it then. Mm. Oh, by the way, when you've finished venting, the whole floor needs polishing. Does it now? Indeed, Mrs. Springer. You could say that I'm just biding my time while the seven horsemen of the metropolis bring forth the plague of boils and frogs. Apart from that, I just polished the old floor. That was very quick. Quick to go flipping on and you come and see. Huh? Eat your dinner if you could. In fact, <laughs> I already asked. Well, What's where you're going? Maybe his personality isn't recyclable. Perhaps it's beyond all human and technological help. Well, if anything, he seems even worse. We need a management policy on the crime problem. We need a policy on both of them. Pardon Egbert, Mr. Crump's got another one of himself. What? He has. I saw it. What are you going on about, Egbert? I told you, there's another Mr. Crump. I'll leave it out, Eggie. Hang on. Maybe there's something in this. Maybe the recycling did have an effect, just not what we expected. Right, let's search the school. Two groups, and we need to keep in touch. No problem. Walkie talkies. Great, I'll take one group. Joe, you take the other. And get Curly and his gang in on this. We'll need all the help we can get. What about me? You can talk with my group, Peggy, okay? But let's go. Uh, Okay, keep in touch. Over and out. Ruth, there he is. Crab alert two, this is Crab alert one. We have sighting and are following suspect. Over. Crab alert two receiving. We have sighting two. Suspect moving towards the school entrance. <laughs> Dying crumb! Ah, <laughs> oh, Crafty! Sickening. 
terrifying. And what are you lot staring at? Yes. Buzz off before I, before, before we, we, send you off for some pain and punishment. Heavy duty pain and punishment, did I? Sought to make their toes curl, make their eyes walk. <laughs> We just can't have two of them. I mean, it was bad enough with one. It's all your fault. No, it isn't. The manual had a page missing. I had to improvise. The management doesn't bicker. What we need are ideas, not accusations. Perhaps it'll be better. What do you mean? I mean, perhaps they, I mean he, can like munch himself now, can't he? Perhaps he, I mean they, can leave us alone. Hmm, possibly. Doesn't sound likely, though. No, but all we do for now is monitor him. I mean them. And no more personality recycling for the time being, okay? Mm, yeah. yeah. Enough sugar in your tea, my dear fellow. Thanks. And you? Fine. Yes, they're all against me. Plot in their plots. Mutton in their mutton. But ain't nobody's fool. The present company accepted, of course. Of course. <laughs> It'd be an early worm that would make a bird brain out of dyke. Well said, for you. You know, it's been a long time since I've met someone talked with an equal. This Mrs. Springett, of course, but, well, she's a woman. With you, it's like, like talking to myself. Peas in a pot, brothers in a Exactly. And what we've got to do is work together. Chase the school and look after ourselves at the same time. Do a bit of pushing around. Just to let them know who's in charge. Make these children's lives a misery so they're prepared for adult life. Exactly. They'll thank us for it in later years. Now, <clears throat> you put your feet up, Di, while I make a stand. Now there's a friend for you. <laughs> ah, Mr. Crabbe. Can't stop now, Mrs. Springett. What? Mm -hmm. Can I be of assistance, Mrs. Springett? I think I'm maybe about to faint, Mr. Crabb. Oh, feel free, Mrs. Springett. I consider it an honor to catch him. On second thought, perhaps not. And what's going on here? Mr. Crabb, uh, project work. Really? And what happens here, Miss E? What about it? You shall pay for in here, eh? Right. And it turns into anything you want. More or less. Very interesting. Great possibility. More possibilities. Can your machine make these? You mean forgeries? You said it for you. Suppose it's possible we'd all end up in prison. Someone might. <laughs> All right, my dear chap, you can relax now. I've finished. Ah, Mr. Cramp, do join us. Is there anything we can do for you? Yes, Mr. Lear, sir. Have you seen me lately? I can't say I have. Where were you when you last saw yourself? In my room. Oh, and then I went to the technical block where I stayed for a bit of a rest. I see. And now you've lost yourself. Exactly. I'm not in the technical block and I can't find myself anywhere. I, I feel a bit bitter. You know me, you see. Perhaps we should inform the management. They could circulate a description of you. Tell me, can you remember what you look like? Oh, yes. Yes, I look sort of like, like me. Well, that's a start. And on the other hand, we could shout. Shout? Yes, shout out your name, and then if you're anywhere in the vicinity, you might hear. Oh, worth a try, I suppose. Yes, everyone, after me. One, two, three. Oh. You called? Oh, there you are, Di. <laughs> Where were you? Making plans, Di. Come on. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Leader, sir. Thank you, Mr. Prince. <laughs> this 
new pranks and loose cannon, and we can't afford to have people running around the school promoting illegal currency. Exactly. But how do we know it was the new crank? I mean, they both look the same. Yeah, but they're this sort of mag lint in them. I think Joe's right. The new pram is worse. It might make the old pram even worse, too. So we've got to get him into the recycling plant, back into the machine. You mean get rid of him? We've got to. It's the only way. Yeah, come on. Bring a 